So my friend and I went on this shoot and we shot on the ZR and we shot on the Z63. We just shot interviews and we shot everything at, it was 4K and uh, H.265 10 bit because obviously we're not going to shoot, you know, R3D or NRA on a big long interview. Uh, we did six that day and there was a common theme between all of the different files and we're going to go into what that is, but I think it might start to help us solve what is happening with the Nikon ZR's H.265 and why it looks lower quality than the Z63. So I'm just going to show you guys what happened. Um, so let's jump over to this other angle. We'll, we'll look at the back of the cameras uh, so I can show you the settings. Okay, so this is kind of what we were looking at the other day after our shoot. Um, if you go into these cameras and you check their actual menu settings, they are exactly the same file type. So H.265, 10-bit, and log. Okay. And then it's the 5.4K, so 24 frames per second, 5.4K. Same thing here, 5.4K, and it's the H.265 and log. Um, so we noticed that when we take an image, and I'm just going to scroll through here so you know things are the same, there's not really another uh, setting that would affect the quality. So I'll scroll through this one really quick. But you can see everything looks pretty much the same, and there's not really another setting that affects the quality other than those two. Um, so when we look at all those, and then we record a short clip, I'll just press record on the two of these things. So now when we take both of these files that should be pretty much identical into the computer, then they're gonna have different data rates, which is weird because it seems like it should be the same. Okay, so after we shot those two clips, I promise these are the exact same clips that we just shot. Uh, you can look at them right next to each other. This one on the left is the Nikon ZR. The one on the right is the Nikon Z63. So this is the weird part. If you look down where it says data rate and total bit rate, the Z63 on the right is way higher at 183,899, 186,164. So obviously these are all gonna be approximate anyway, but when you look at the ZR, uh, same settings, same 5.4K, same frame rate, um, you get a much smaller file, almost half the file size, at a way lower data rate and bit rate, even though they're both 20 seconds long. So, we get half the file size, which, okay, but why? And you can say, okay, maybe they just changed the codec for the ZR so that you save space or whatever. But I don't think that's true either, because if you go onto their reference guides, uh, this is Nikon's official reference guides that you find through their site. Uh, this is the Nikon ZR. Let me make sure. This is the Z63. Um... You go to 5.4K, 24P, approximately 340 megabits per second. Then you click on the Nikon ZR. You go to the same place, 5.4K, 24 frames per second, approximately 340. So theoretically, you should be getting the exact same file sizes out of both of these cameras because it should be the same data rate. But that's not the case. You're getting, number one, much less than 340 megabits per second. And number two, vastly different file sizes on the two cameras. So I don't know if they like decided to do some kind of new uh, compression thing on the ZR and that's the reason that uh, the H.265 is looking like a lot lower quality than the Z63. But I don't know, I just thought it was a weird thing. I thought maybe somebody else might be able to help me understand it a little bit better. Maybe there's a reason this is happening that I don't fully understand, but it seems to me like something is weird and that there's a reason that we got way like higher quality H.265 on the Z63. So, I don't know. Just something weird I found. I thought you guys might enjoy looking at it. I know this is a short video, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think is happening, and make sure you leave a subscription. We'll talk more, more Nikon stuff, you know? More filmmaking stuff. Bye-bye.